did you know that almost 30% of all your website traffic is actually malicious? WooCommerce is built to offer a convenient and secure platform for e-commerce websites, but it does not protect you against external security threats such as hacks or brute force attacks. To keep your site safe from these threats, you need to secure five main areas of your website. Today, I will share 15 tips across these five areas to ensure that your website, data, and customers are safe from hacks. If you're new to the channel, Welcome here, my name is Julian, I work at Blogwatt, which helps over a million sites with flawless backups. Watch this video till the end and you will never have to worry about WooCommerce security ever again. If you are in a hurry, use the chapters below to navigate to topics for your convenience. Chapter 1. Security Plugin Tip number 1. Install a security plugin. This is the most important and effective step you can take in order to secure your store. Installing a security plugin will scan your website at regular intervals and alert you of any security threats. A security plugin compatible with WooCommerce, such as Malcare, will allow you to frequently scan your store, clean it up within minutes, and proactively block brute force attacks and other threats. As WooCommerce deals with highly sensitive data, you simply cannot take the risk of using an unreliable plugin. To protect your site, you need a firewall to proactively defend your site against hackers. As hackers are evolving their techniques with every passing moment, you also need a scanner that can detect disguised and hidden malware. Malcare is such a security plugin. You should definitely try it out. I'll add a link in the description. Tip number two, get an SSL certificate. An SSL certificate is a certificate that verifies the identity and safety of a particular website. Securing your website with SSL allows you to make sure that any data you transmit is encrypted while in transit. Having an SSL certificate is vital for most websites and especially important for any website that requires users to input sensitive information like bank account details or passwords. Apart from the security aspect, Google has steadily pushed for websites to get SSL certificates because it will now penalize websites that are not secured with it. You will see a site not secure warning in the search engine results if your website does not have an SSL installed. When you secure your website using SSL, a small padlock will appear next to your URL. This padlock confirms that your site is real and any fakes can be immediately spotted since it will not have the padlock. It is very easy to set up SSL on your website. Your hosting provider will often bundle it with your website if you're using a reputable one. Alternatively, you can use really simple SSL to set it up in minutes. For a WooCommerce site, once you get an SSL certificate, go to the WooCommerce Settings Advanced. Here you can enable Force Secure Checkout. This will further protect your e-commerce site and make your transactions more secure. Chapter number two, WooCommerce Login Page. The login page always has a big red target on it and is often bombarded by brute force attack bots. Bots are parasites of the worst kinds because not only are they trying to gain unauthorized access to your website, but they are also using up your website resources while doing so. This means that legitimate users will start finding it difficult to access or navigate your site. Tip number three, enable two-factor authentication. Enabling this ensures that anyone attempting to log into the WordPress dashboard will need to provide their credentials as well as a secure password that is generated in real time. This could be a one-time password sent to a mobile number or a code generated on apps like Google Authenticator. Before we go on to the next topic, if this video is being helpful for you, please smash that subscribe button because it's free and super motivating for us. You can also comment below with any video topic you want and I will make it happen. Let's get back to the video. Tip number four, change your default username admin. One of the easiest and quickest ways to increase security is to change your username and password away from the default. You can do this by adding a new user, logging in as that user and deleting your old account. To change your WordPress admin name, go to user admin, enter all the necessary details and make sure to use a unique username. Now, create a new account and select administrator from the available WordPress user. Once done, you need to log out of your WP admin and sign back in with a new account. Now, you can delete the previous admin user account. Doing this will transfer all of your previously created posts to the new account. Alternatively, you can use plugins like Admin Renamer and Username Changer to replace your username. Tip number five, limit login attempts. Brute force attacks are a very common method of gaining access to your site. A brute force attack tests every single possible combination of words and numbers and uses that to find out your password. And that's not all. With newer technologies like AI and machine learning, hackers can break weak passwords in a matter of minutes. Therefore, the simplest solution is to limit login attempts from particular IP addresses. If, for example, one IP address tries to log in multiple times, you can set a limit for how many attempts that particular address is allowed. This can get a little bit complex, but if you have a security plugin like Malcare installed, it will automatically be taken care of. Malcare's firewall automatically blocks brute force attacks against your website and secures it against malicious bots and attackers. Tip number six, implement geo-blocking. Many bots originate from certain countries. Since you're managing your website, you know where you expect legitimate traffic to come 
come from. If your website log starts showing a spike in hits from different countries, chances are those are bots. Of course, you could have been running ad campaigns as well, so use this tip carefully. It is possible to block entire countries from accessing your website. Malcare has a geo-blocking feature for this that you can use. Chapter 3. WooCommerce User Management there are a few steps you should take to secure your website from the admin dashboard as well. The tips in this section are actually non-negotiable from a security perspective. We recommend that you implement all of them. Tip number seven, require strong passwords for user accounts. If there are multiple authors attached to your website, they are often granted admin access even though it is not recommended. But if everyone has access to your admin panel, this can make your store significantly more vulnerable. There are two solutions to this. The first is to simply keep access to only yourself which is often unfeasible. The second option is to make sure that everyone uses strong passwords. The easiest way to do this is via an extension called the Force Strong Passwords. This extension ensures that anybody registering must create a strong password, usually using a mixture of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers and symbols. Due to the extension, standard words will not be allowed as passwords, making the passwords extremely difficult to grab. This precautionary measure is worth installing, especially if you have a collaborative team. Tip number eight, implement a user management policy. It is always good practice to periodically review users to see if any need to be removed. Additionally, you should always adopt a least privilege policy. What is the least amount of control a person should have on your website to perform their work? That's the level of control they should have and nothing more. Tip number nine, use an activity log. When you have multiple users making changes to your website, you want to stay on top of those changes. An activity log is a very powerful tool to help you accomplish this. With detailed logs, you can see exactly who did what and when on your website. Often, hackers try to get admin accounts to wreck havoc. So, if an admin account is behaving strangely in the logs, that is an early sign that something may be amiss. So find a security plugin that has a detailed activity log like this because it will be very helpful for you. We would again recommend Malgear because it has the best activity log that we've seen amongst all security plugins. Chapter 4. Hosting Configurations WordPress does not let you edit or access its files directly. To do this, you need to use an FTP client like File Manager. You can find several FTP clients in the plugins repository of WordPress. Tip number 10. Protect wp-config.php file. One of the most important files in your entire system is the wp-config.php file. It contains a large amount of sensitive information about your website. It contains things like your WordPress security keys as well as your database connection details. If anyone were to get their hands on this file, they could do incalculable damage to your website. The first step to protect Protecting your wp-config.php file is to deny access to everyone except you. Alternatively, you can create a new file and remove the sensitive data from your main wp-config.php file. All you need to do is add a pointer that points to the sensitive data, so the sensitive data remains inaccessible but your website can function normally. If you have any doubts about this, comment below and I'll help you out. Tip number 11. Prevent editing of certain files. The file editor on your site is a major vulnerability. Since it allows users to run PHP code on your site, it makes hacking extremely easy. While the file editor is extremely useful, allowing you to edit themes and plugin files directly from the admin area, a vulnerability this major should not be left open. Even if hackers are not a problem, access to the file editor should still be restricted because not every admin knows how to use it properly and consequently might break the site while trying to make changes. Disabling file editing is extremely easy. File manager should allow you to access all of your files. Search for your wp-config.php file and open it. It should download the PHP file to your computer. Open the file in a text editor like Notepad and add the following line of code to the file right before the line that's all stop editing happy publishing. Now, save the changes and upload the file back to your website. File Manager allows you to upload files as well. That's it. Your theme and plugin editors should be disabled. Tip number 12. Restrict content records. Shady people often use content scrapers to grab all the posts on blogs. Additionally, allowing free access to content records means that every single page on your site is accessible, even the sensitive ones. To avoid security risks arising out of this, do the following. When creating a new folder, make sure to add the index.html file. This will control user access, making sure that users can only find content that they are authorized to. Otherwise, anyone will be able to access your folder content simply by typing in the URL without needing a password. You can also make sure that your content records stay protected by using a plugin like Restrict Content and keeping all of your sensitive data safe. Chapter number 5. Themes and Plugins since themes and plugins are extensions to your website, you have limited control over them. While using these extensions from trusted sources helps, they may have vulnerabilities that can be exploited by attackers. So follow these rules to ensure that your themes and plugins are secured, as is your website. Tip number 30. Back up your website. Backups may not be what you expect when looking to strengthen your website security. However, 
think about it. If your website is down, you start to lose not just time and new orders, but customer data, previously placed orders, and a significant amount of revenue. This is why backups are important. In case of hacks or downtime, you still maintain a repository of sensitive customer information and minimize the losses. Even if your website is secure from external threats, certain theme or plugin updates can also cause your site to act erratically and result in downtime. When your site is broken, fixing it can take hours. But if you have proper backups, you can easily restore the last safe backup and get your site up and running in no time. As WooCommerce websites get frequent orders and requests, real-time WooCommerce backup solution is the best suited for them. Additionally, these backups should be stored in an encrypted format so that if any data were to fall into the hands of the hackers, it would still be unreadable to them. Malcare provides such real-time backups in collaboration with BlockWart. It also provides frequent automatic updates that secure your website data in real time. So we would definitely recommend you try it out. Tip number 40. Keep your website updated. Updates are how any technology improves. WooCommerce is also frequently updated for this purpose. Updating your website at frequent intervals secures it from pre-discovered vulnerabilities, which are easy access points for hackers. Updating all elements of your websites includes themes and plugins, which will save you a lot of headaches in the long run. If you're a Malcare customer, you can update your website elements with a single click from the dashboard. However, if you wish to do so manually, there is a simple way to do it. Just go to Plugins, Install Plugins, Updates Available. From here, you can update whichever plugins you wish to update. Similarly, for themes, go to Appearance, Themes, and you can update whichever themes you have. We prefer Malcare because we can easily update all elements with just one click. Tip number 50. Never use null themes and plugins. We've seen this time and time again, and we get it. It is tempting to use a free version of a premium plugin, but this comes with so many hazards, it's just not worth the small gains. First of all, null themes and plugins are premium products with broken licenses. They are often used as bait for the unsuspecting and contain backdoors. A website admin installs a null plugin and the hacker gets a red carpet entry into the website. Secondly, null plugins and themes don't get updates from developers. That means if a vulnerability is discovered in a version and the developer releases a security patch, the null plugin does not get it. Therefore, the vulnerability continues to exist and because the developers have released a patch, vulnerability is now common knowledge. Thus begins hacker open season. Finally, it is just not right. Developers work really hard to build new technology and they do not deserve to be cheated. We should support our developers by paying for the service we are using because this further nurtures better technology which then benefits everybody. What not to do? There is plenty of really bad advice floating around the internet for WooCommerce security. Here are a bunch of things that you definitely should not do because they are not worth the effort. Number one, change your database prefix. Number two, hide your login URL. Number three, password protect core files. Number four, remove WordPress version number. In terms of security enhancements, these measures barely move the needle. However, they can cause havoc with user experience. Final thoughts. Your e-commerce business deals with sensitive and confidential company information. You cannot afford to let this information fall into the wrong hands. But more importantly, your e-commerce website also deals with personally identifiable information, which is customer-centric data. If leaked, it is not just bad for the brand reputation, but you could also face legal penalties, lawsuits, and high costs in recovering from the data breach. The stakes are too high to have any lapses in security. So, proactive and preventative security measures are really important for Google WooCommerce websites. To deploy a complete security ecosystem on your WooCommerce site, install the Malcare security plugin and rest assured that your website security is well taken care of. Here are the 15 tips that we discussed in this video. And that's it for today. Hit that like button if you found this video helpful. As always, leave a comment below if you need help with anything. That's all for today. This is Julian, your friendly neighborhood geek, and I will see you again next week.